What's up Automotive Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, bought myself this. It's a brake caliper painting kit and heat resistant to a thousand degrees basically. And I bought this one in gold. It says it's high gloss. And I got this one in particular. It wasn't the cheapest one, but it was actually, and here it is. I guess they mark it right up here. So I'm hoping it's kind of yellowish gold, like a bright gold as opposed to kind of like those kind of brownish golds like these, which kind of look more like bronze. But I got this one in particular because some a lot of the paint, brake caliper paint kits are spray on. And this one in particular was a paint on or a brush on kit. It looks like I've got a bunch of packaging peanuts here. So let me unpackage it. I'm gonna get a lot of stuff. It's like a postcard. I don't know what that is. And then some other stuff. Okay. So this G1 paint kit comes with, looks like brake cleaner, which is nice. I already have some of that. So, and uh, I've already gone ahead and cleaned up my brake calipers. Looks like we have brake caliper reactor, paint reactor. And then we also have this can of high gloss finish paint, looks like. So it looks like we use uh, eight to one ratio of this to this so i would put in and i'm not sure exactly four ounces and this, does this say how many ounces it is because if this oh this is a half an ounce so perfect you could just dump all of this into there and uh clean it up and this is what the color is and all right that is a little more bronzish gold than i maybe i was hoping for i was hoping for a little brighter yellow gold probably not a big deal and then i'm not sure what's in this thing oh Looks like we've got like a, a regular brush in there and then a postcard. Now, I also bought some of these like craft brushes, which are foams, just to kind of give a little more even coat because the bristle brushes tend to leave some streaks sometimes. So, you know, hopefully this will work out all right. Uh, it's probably actually the one permanent thing I'm going to do on the Prowler that you will be able to see. So generally any upgrades i'm trying to make are not going to disturb the stock look of it but uh, i did want to take kind of the black calipers which are a little rough looking and brighten them up a little bit so let's go ahead and try it out so i've gone ahead and cleaned up the calipers with a brush and brake cleaner and as you can see here they're a little rough kind of rust colored i'm not going to mask them off all that much because i'm an artist and I have really great hand control. So this is the before, and this is the before on the rears. So I went ahead and mixed the reactor in with the paint. The can is only like a third full, so there's plenty of space inside of it. And now it says to use the little plastic stirrer to stir it up for five minutes. So we'll do that, and then as soon as it's ready, we'll start applying it to the calipers. Now it looks like I've got enough paint here to do a few coats on each of the calipers. I was actually hoping that I might have enough to do my Fiat 500's calipers too, but I'm kind of guessing that this won't be enough. It'll just be enough for one car, but we'll see. So let's get it applied. more of a bronze gold I mean if you know gold plating or real gold this doesn't simulate it it's like just golden rod maybe and it looks fine it's more subtle it's a little browner on that gold scale than kind of the yellow that I hoped for in fact I actually thought about going yellow on these brake calipers just to kind of make them pop a little bit this is certainly more subtle and I thought the gold like would be a little more subtle than yellow 
But uh, they don't look bad. Just, you know, I, it's like metallic brown. It's like a light metallic brown. I mean, it's not like dark poop brown or anything like that. On the front of the prowler here, you have to kind of cover more of the rotor when you're, or the caliper, I should say, on the back, because you're only gonna be able to see through the wheel. You really don't have to get all the way around to the back, although I did a couple of comments about it. The paint self levels relatively decently. I actually did use that wire brush that they included, so you can see some streaking. And because of the nature of the painting you're doing, the paint goes on relatively thick, maybe a slightly thicker, you know, in my opinion, than like a normal house paint. And so if you're really trying to get that glossy smooth finish, you might want to try putting on a final coat with that sponge brush. I didn't end up using it, but for my purposes, I think it's going to be fine and I could sand it down and go yellow or something like that. So this is the after. I think it looks pretty good. It's going to be good enough since I had the wheels off for my brake fluid flush anyway. That'd be a good opportunity to, uh, you know, paint the calipers. I did have enough paint left over to do probably another car. So I'm going to save it. I don't know if that hardener and activator is going to make it unusable, but if I get my wheels off my Fiat 500, I might do these as well. I did do three coats on here. You can see that I didn't probably prep the calipers as well as I could have. Worst case scenario, this all flakes off and, you know, it looks ghetto. But there it is. Brake caliper painting kit with a brush on application instead of spray. Peter Von Pandau.